Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea, and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore, and sat down, and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, but they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, but they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, but they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, but they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, but they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, but they shall be called the children of God. We're not fighting for riches of this world. We're not fighting for a position in this world. We're not fighting for a plot of land in this world to where we can claim our stake, you know, and uh, have an inheritance with the rest of the world. No, when we get our inheritance, we're going to get everything. Our sights are set a lot higher than this present world, all right? As it is written, the fashion of this world shall pass away. We are individuals of vision. In the scriptures say where an individual lacks vision, he perishes. Okay? So we can see the future. Alright? And we hope that we're gonna be part of it, beginning with the elect. But ye shall be named the, the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Glory shall ye boast yourselves, for your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them.